edible cooch deodorant. Okay, first off, ain't no way this place has 3,600 five-star reviews. Secondly, you ever see something so dumb it makes you want to get a running start for smacking some sense into someone? I looked into it with the power of Google, and it seems like it's actually a legit product, just the advertising saying an edible cooch deodorant. That definitely was a head-turner. Hello, all of you wonderful individuals, and welcome back to another video for the day. We are heading back into r slash bad women's anatomy, because you guys happen to like the not how girls were videos I remember I had this one so I figured hey let's see how this does nowadays so if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future be sure to hit the like button leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you guys have not already subscribe let's do it all right if the liver is the drinking man's tampon then it is here that i come to bleed you know for some reason the desk had me thinking it was a library but no if it's a bar that makes a little more sense nonetheless uh, sir you do happen to realize that women also have a liver right uh, to be fair uh, male fertility doesn't decline with age in the same way that female fertility does which starts around the age of 30 it literally does not. Please learn biology. The female fertility dropping off at 30 is from a paper on French peasants hundreds of years ago. Women have babies into their 40s all of the time. Source is my OB who also told me that she delivers babies to women in their 40s every day. When I expressed worry about getting pregnant at 35, it took me about two months to conceive my child. Yeah, don't you know, we're going off of information because it swinged in my direction hundreds of years ago, and because that worked one time, I should still be able to apply that to modern day logic. Age 27, you'd be paying six pounds a month. Or what happens when you get three years older, your life insurance payment goes up and you suddenly age 20 years, even though you've only gone up three years of age. Yeah, no, whoever's making this ad for life insurance, I, uh, th this, this has to be your last ad before leaving the office. To all of the girls wanting a thigh gap, lymphow. Effect of the day, thigh gaps are determined by the structure of your pelvis. The more outward faced and further apart your thighs are, the more inward and closer. That also determines the tightness of the cooch. Conclusion, the bigger the thigh gap, the looser the cooch. The smaller the gap, the tighter the cooch. Girls, be happy if you don't have a thigh gap. I know, I'm, I, I'm, last I checked, I'm fairly certain that's not how that works either. Isn't the thigh gap the result of having the pelvis bone width, but not like the thigh gap or thigh thickness? Words. Homosexual couples can't have S without it damaging their bodies or minds. Briefly, the damage of homosexuality to women and men manifests differently. Gay men become more incontinent at young ages, and the damage puts them at a higher risk of a long list of diseases, including, um, the canal cancer. For women, after the organisms happen, their bodies require the testosterone from their partners not typically absorbed through the walls. The walls. He's in the goddamn wall! To prevent hormone crashes that cumulatively cause depression, although sometimes anxiety or both. Look, sometimes women don't even know how women work, and that honestly confuses the crap out of me, because you would think that, hey, if women have thing that do thing, you would also know that if this person is also women, that they might have similar shit. How it feels to no longer be married to someone that sniffed my crotch when I get home from running errands to make sure I wasn't cheating on him at the grocery store. What are you expecting to find, though? Are you thinking they'll go like, it smells like dude down there. You know, yeah, I think I'm putting that on a bit of a red flag list for myself. You know, normally, look, uh, uh, red flags, history of cheating, and if you feel compelled to and the necessary to smell your partner's crotch whenever they come back from going up by themselves. That is a bit of a red flag right there, and I'm a vamoose if that's the case. She's recovering from childbirth and has a newborn that requires constant care. This also being OP's first kid means that this is all new and overwhelming for her. Not to mention the extreme hormonal changes going on with her right now. 
He has responsibilities he isn't meeting because he'd rather focus on his ped brother than his new family. No, it's time for women to stop having babies unless they are hardy enough to not use it as an excuse for everything. Oh yes, you know, because you seem like somebody mature enough that they'd want to have a kid with. And you know, it's not like making a whole human being, which is a nine month process, you know, take is a little bit taxing on your physical state. So, you know, it's not like you would be a little bit tired, you know, after popping the kid out and you might want to have to take a little bit of a break from work. Oh yeah, also because general child care is a thing. Well, he was right. Second rate kitty is different. Third rate kitty is also different. There is nothing in the world like kitty. Kitty is different uh, from other things. And lower rate kitty is different from first rate kitty. So there is nothing in the world like first rate kitty. Yeah, hey, uh, you, you've never gotten kitty. You got it. Uh -huh. Yeah, for a second there, as soon as I saw this, I, I was thinking of the, you know for a fact, dude here is sipping the Taterade. But not only that, I was thinking of a Taterade version of Kaiba with that whole third rate, second rate thing. You're a third rate female with a fourth rate coochie. Uh, for anyone confused with the spiderweb and garage analogy in my paper, I'll explain it below. And many thanks to this person for telling me this and sharing it with me. The bigger difference between men and women is their memory. For instance, between... For instance, women remember things more like a web. What happens is when an event happens, they attach an emotion to it. It is a weird sort of mental scarring. They do this so they don't forget it, because if they remember the emotion they felt, they then remember the event. Now, from here is where the spider web comes into effect, because they begin to think of all of the other times they've felt that way. This is dangerous because it is easy to slip into depression this way. The men, however, work almost opposite to that. Imagine a garage full of boxes, an infinite amount of boxes. Men take everything they've experienced and put it in the designated box. They never touch, they never mix, they never get put together. It is all in order and sensible. However, what we women try to get men to do is mix boxes or jump from one box to another like their web. But that is not how the boxes work. This leads to a lot of arguments. I read somewhere that Queen Cleopatra of Egypt used to have used almonds as an IUD. Yeah, doubtful that would require getting almonds past the cervix and not getting an infection. Yeah, honestly, is it weird that like the first thing that came in my mind was like, that is the weirdest way you'd ever find out you have a nut allergy. Uh, what is a period, Clot? Uh, it's not, not a girl, but uh, I think it's like a placenta. What? What the fuck? First off, thing bad, you didn't need to specify that you weren't a girl. I'm fairly certain everybody in a two mile radius just already knows, let alone just anybody that sees this opinion is already gonna know. Secondly, that is very much not that. I did not know our cycle changes every five years. A fun bug fact. It is suspected that this happens because cycles are controlled by the moon. And that means that women may go infertile in 15,000 years. Menstrual cycles are not controlled by the moon. For freak's sakes, we are not werewolves. Okay, then explain astrology. There you go. You can't explain it. You've been stumped. You've been fooled. Vamoose. You bamboozled. Let's just be friends. I'm strong and independent. I'm ready to settle down. Why can't I find a good man? Look, I know you're trying to make some kind of point here, but honestly, you're more so making me hungry because my fat ass now wants a donut. Hey, how freaky are you, though? Would you let a man use your breast milk for my protein shake? I don't have breast milk. I ain't got kids. Uh, so, uh, uh, what's with the taters? Um, fat? Seriously? Uh, that's the mother that's doing fat things have big taters in it. What the fuck is this piece of shit? I guess so, 
Yeah? You're bare educational, you know. You are barely literate. Holy shit. Why are there people out there that legitimately think that if you shook a boob, it would make the same noise as half a gallon of milk? But with that last reason, I'm going to be very much enjoying my happy hour this weekend. Uh, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below to start up the Molson Internet discussion, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Now I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye!